Hello friends, this is the solution video for the question which says a particle is projected from point O on the ground with velocity u is equal to 5 root 5 meter per second at angle alpha is equal to 10 inverse 0 0.5. It strikes at a point C on a fixed smooth plane AB having inclination 37 degree with horizontal as shown in figure. If the particle does not rebound calculate number 1 coordinate of point C in reference to coordinate system as shown in figure and number two maximum height from the ground to which the particle rises. So this question is simple but the calculation is a bit lengthy here. So first of all let's see in this triangle ACD. In the triangle ACD let AD is equal to x. So that means O to D distance will become 10 by 3 plus x. So this OD distance will become 10 by 3 plus x and the height is y right from the triangle a c d we can apply tan theta here so tan 37 is perpendicular upon base so tan 37 is 3 by 4 is equal to y by x so y will become 3x by 4. So this is the first relation between x and y. Second relation between x and y can be achieved using the trajectory equation of projectile. So which says y is equal to x tan theta half of gx square upon u square cos square theta. Right. So here theta is given as alpha and x is the distance from the origin or here it is from o so we can rewrite it as y is equal to so now here for us the x point is this distance which is od so that is 10 by 3 plus x here it is going to be 10 alpha and 10 alpha is given as 0 0.5 that means 5 by 10 or 1 by 2 minus half of g value is 10 x is again 10 by 3 plus x whole square upon u square is 5 root 5 square that means 125 and cos square alpha can be converted into 1 upon cos square alpha is secant square alpha and secant square alpha can be written as 1 plus tan square alpha right so instead of 1 upon cos square alpha we can write 1 plus tan square alpha so in that case it will become 1 plus and tan alpha value is 1 by 2 so that means 1 by 4 now let's try to solve that y is equal to so multiplying 1 by 2 inside this bracket it will become 5 by 3 plus x by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 10 upon 125 i am taking 3 as a lcm and the upper part will become 10 plus 3x whole square upon 9 into 5 by 4 so this will cancel out so the entire equation will become y is equal to 5 by 3 plus x by 2 and this one will become minus 10 plus 3x whole square upon 180. So if we take 180 as LCM, so this will become 180y is equal to 300 plus 90x minus I am just solving this uh, square value which is going to be 100 minus 9x square minus 60x. So further if we solve that, so this will become minus 9x square plus 30x plus 200 is equal to 180y. Now if I put the value of y from equation 1. I will get minus 9x square plus 30x plus 200 
is equal to 180 into 3x by 4. So this entire equation will become 9x square minus 105x plus 200 is equal to 0. Or I can say 9x square plus 105x minus 200 is equal to 0. So if we solve this quadratic equation, the only positive value of x will become x is equal to 5 by 3. So the total distance OD will become 5 by 3 plus 10 by 3, right? So that means 15 by 3 or I can say 5 centimeter. So the coordinate of this point C, the x coordinate will become 5. Again, using the first equation, and value of x as 5 by 3 so we will get y is equal to 3 by 4 into x is 5 by 3 that means 5 by 4 or i can say 1.25 meter so the y coordinate will become 1.25 meter so this is the solution of the first part now coming to the second part so in the second part we have to find the value of height attained by the particle so so let's see this is the inclined plane when the particle will hit uh, a certain point here which is 5 comma 1.25 it will have the horizontal velocity as well as the vertical velocity right but it is given that the vertical velocity is zero because the particle is not rebounding. So that means this velocity component is zero. So the only component here it is Vx, right? And the particle will rise in the effect of this Vx. Now again, let's see in this figure itself, this is Vx and the particle will move in this direction. So this Vx component makes again an angle 37 degree right so vx cos 37 degree is the component which will help to rise the particle along the incline right so first of all let's see uh, how we can get this uh, vx cos 37 so first of all we will find the value of vx which is going to be u cos alpha because at any time the horizontal velocity will remain same as the initial horizontal velocity right so vx is going to be u is 5 root 5 and cos alpha value so tan alpha value is 1 by 2 so cos alpha value will become 2 by root 5 so root 5 will be cancelled out so that is going to be 10 meter per second right and vx cos 37 degree will become 10 into 4 by 5 that means 8 meter per second right so this is the velocity which will help to rise this particle along the incline right so how to find the height attained by the particle so we can use the um, concept of kinetic energy and potential energy right so at highest point the particle will attain the potential energy which is going to be mgh and the initial velocity is total kinetic energy which is half mv square where v is 8 so m will cancel out so h will become 1 by 2 into 64 by 10 so if we solve that it will become 16 by 5 or 3.2 meter but this is not the total height so the total height will become y plus this h so the maximum height this object will attain is going to be 3.2 plus 1.25 that means 4.45 meter so this is the solution for second part